Dimensioning circles. We can use the dim command for dimensioning circles. I can either find that located here in the home command or in the home tab, or I like to go up to the annotate tab. In the annotate tab under the dimensions panel, we have the dim command. So I select the dim command and it says select object. So when I get close to the object, it highlights the circular object. So all I have to do is pick on the circle. Once I pick, then I can drag out so that wherever I want to place my uh, dimension location is placed. All I have to do is pick and it places then the dimension with the diameter symbol phi, which is in front. So that's zero with, with the slash through it is the Greek letter phi or the diameter symbol and it points to the center point of the circle by default by ASME standards. And then I, I can hit enter to finish the command. So once again, I'm going to go up to the dimension uh, command, the dim command. I select, when I get near it, it highlights the circle. Then I have to pick on it. I always want it to go to the outside of the circle. I place it usually we like to be at 45 degree angles so here or here if I could fit it in here I'd go there or I can go over here um, but it'll AutoCAD will always make it look so that it points towards the center of the circle I can pick and then it'll place it and uh, at that time then I can kind of come over hover over and find another circle so the command the dim command remains in effect and I can pick another circle and I'll place this one in a, to be consistent I'll place it right here trying to keep it at 45 degree angles lined up uh, and then when I'm done I hit enter and so the dim command automatically highlights the circle you have to select it and then place the location and then you can move on to other dimensioning of circles using the dim command which is located in the dimension panel under annotate or it's located under annotation in the home uh, tab